Hey guys, so in today's video, we will talk about how you can install any PHP script to your website. Okay, so it is completely very easy. It is so easy that it won't involve any coding or any stuff. Okay, I will tell you a step by step guide that will help you to install any PHP, PHP script in just 10 minutes. So guys, first of all, what you need to do, you need to buy one hosting, then you buy, need to buy a domain. After you will buy a domain, what you need to do, you need to connect your hosting and your domain now fourth we will install php script in our hosting so it is very simple so guys if you will go to the site ground it is the one hosting you simply need to search on google my dash link dot in hash site ground and hit enter then you will visit this website okay now another hosting is hosting so it is very cheap if you are if you want a very affordable hosting so you can simply search my dash link dot in hash hostinger okay and hit enter so idea is very simple now for this i will choose site ground you can also buy host hostinger both are equally and very easy to manage so guys first of all what you need to do you need to select hosting so suppose you go for a wordpress hosting now you can choose any plan you want so suppose i want this plan i will simply choose this plan now guys you need to uh, click here so guys to buy a domain you need to take the help of godaddy so guys if you want to buy a domain from godaddy so i, I have already made a video on how to buy a domain from godaddy you can simply click on card or or i put a link in description box so you can uh, go there and watch how to buy a domain from godaddy okay now suppose my domain is entrepreneurs.com Okay, so this is my domain. Just click on proceed. So now, guys, you will come to this section where you need to put your email, password for your hosting, country, first name, last name, city name, address, zip code, phone number, payment method. And then, guys, just select it for just 12 months. Okay, now, guys, simply just click these two boxes and then pay now. Okay, so guys, when you will pay for a hosting, you will visit here okay to your hosting so i have already purchased so i'm not purchasing it right now but if you will follow the step you will purchase the hosting so now guys here you will see one website option here what you need to do you need to connect your domain with your hosting so to do that what you need to do you need to simply follow these simple steps so guys what you need to do you need to click on add new site now guys if you have bought a domain from godaddy then simply click on existing domain now guys write the domain you want to connect so Whatever domain you have purchased from GoDaddy, simply write that domain. Okay, now just continue. Continue. Then guys, click on skip and create empty site. Finish. So now guys, it will take you to here. Now you simply need to connect your domain with your hosting. So suppose you go to GoDaddy. Now you have purchased a domain. So just go to my product now guys here you will see lots of your domain you have purchased so whatever domain you have purchased simply click on uh, that domain dns so suppose this is your domain which you have purchased from godaddy so now guys you will see your name server option okay so what you need to do you need to simply go to your site ground you need to copy this text copy it and simply paste here in this name servers okay so just click on change so now guys here you will when you will click on change you will find these two options select i will use my own server so what you need to do you need to simply copy this first text and paste this first tag here okay simply again copy this second one and paste it here so i have already did that so i won't do okay so now guys when you will do that your hosting will connect it with your domain okay so now guys simply you need to go to your website so guys after you will connect it you will see one option here site tools simply click here so you just simply need to follow these simple steps so what you need to do you need to click on site then you need to click on my sql so now guys when you will do that you will simply need to create database okay so now guys your database is created now you simply need to copy this just copy it simple now guys just paste it in your notepad simply just paste it here okay now guys what you need to do you need to create one user so simply create on user now create you click on create user 
now guys you will see your username is this simply copy it again paste it here in your notepad you have pasted your username simply you will see your password here simply just copy it also and paste it in your notepad simple done now guys what you need to do now guys you again need to click on databases now guys here you will see one add new option here you simply need to click here now guys it will tell you to select your user so now guys you have to select that user which you have created suppose see our user is this one okay so now guys you simply need to click on this first one so i have clicked i have selected that just confirm it simple now guys we need to put our php script so now guys you will see this site manager option just simply click there now guys you can paste uh, in your you can upload your script in your domain so i have created one subdomain so i will simply upload my php script to my subdomain okay so you but you can also put in your main domain so simply just go to here and click on public html so simply i am going to my subdomain and following and i am uploading it on my public html so now guys here what you need to do you need to simply upload your php script so guys to do that what you need to do you will get this file upload option now guys here you have to uh, upload your php script so this is my php script so i will simply upload it you can see it is uploading so now guys it is completely uploaded so now guys when your file will be uploaded just simply go to your public html okay now you need to extract it so simply right click now you will see extract option click on it okay now guys here you have to select the first one again you will see this main zip simply extract it then now guys simply go there here you will find all these things so now guys what you need to do you need to now copy this all so just simply click on command select all these files now guys you will see one option here copy so you can see 10 items are now copied okay so now guys what you need to do you need to click on this public html you can see this option here simply click there now guys what you need to do you need to paste each thing you have copied here so just click on this option paste you can see all the data are pasted here so now guys what you need to do you can see your url you will see your domain url just simply click on go to this url now guys you can see everything has pop out now what you need to do you need to simply click on requirements are met you can now proceed now guys what you need to do you need to uh, fill all the data here so what you need to do you need to open your notepad where you have copied all this data now guys it is asking for a database to so simply click here local host right here you also write your database uh, host name as local host now guys database name so your database name is this one your database name okay simply copy it okay now it is asking for database user so it is your user here simply copy it and paste it here now it will ask for database password so your password is this copy this paste it here now guys just simply create click on create configuration file now guys you have will come to this panel now here you have to write your admin email so whatever name you want you simply click there your uh, admin username will be let's say Bing commerce or you can write your name Kunal. Just select a password which you want. Now guys click on finish installation. So now guys everything is done. Now you need to simply go here. Okay now you will see your website is live now. URL shortnet or Bing commerce is my website. Now you can see it is totally working. So to log in simply log in and put your email and password which you have put and simply log in so this is a very simple way to install any php script in your website so guys i will see you in the next video thank you